I'm Emma Gannon, I'm an author, writer, and now a podcaster. So I wrote my book uh, last year, 2016, and when it came out, I felt so proud of it, but I also felt really exhausted because I was writing about myself, and you get to a point after writing 80,000 plus words where you don't want to talk about yourself anymore. But I wasn't bored of the subject matter. I still wanted to talk about the internet. I still wanted to talk about feminism and um, cyberbullying and photoshopping and the media and all these topics that I could talk about forever. I planned to do six episodes for a podcast so that I'd open out these topics to other people who I admire. And I've now done a hundred 100 episodes and it's still going on. The podcast is called Control Alt Delete and the topic of each episode has to be about the internet, the highs, the lows, how we are addicted to our phones, but also we can make our best friends online now. And all of these different things that I think is still such a new topic. I don't think any of us have, has truly mastered how to have an internet presence and still stay sane on the internet. So um, yeah, that, I think that's why I'm gonna carry on doing it for so long is because the subject matter itself is never ending. I love the fact that I edit it myself. It means that I have total control before any episode goes out. I've edited it, I know what I'm happy with and, and I know the guest will be as well. What's really important for me is it for it to feel real. We're on the sofa, it's a fly on the wall discussion. You feel like you're there. But I guess what's important is that the audio quality, it has some sort of standards and I want it to be good. I want it to be high quality, but I also want it to feel real. And so I can use Audition to make that decision. Do I want to keep in that sound or do I want to get rid of it? So I love that and it makes me more laid back when I'm recording because I know that in the post edit I can get rid of certain things and so I'm not being so intense when I'm interviewing. I'm, I'm not worried as much, so that's good. With previous editing software, I found, well, mostly that it just crashed a lot because um, sometimes I'll record for a long time and the file will be really big and I just want to get it up quickly because that's the point for me of podcasting is it's very quick, it's very um, in the moment. You know, I'll record something one day and I'll want to get it up that evening. So I need something that works and is really sleek and is really quick. And so when I can drop in a big file into Audition, it means that nothing crashes, it's very easy to use. I also love all the different effects that you can use. Some of them are really quirky. There's one where you you can make the voice sound like a telephone call, which is really cool because sometimes you just want to kind of um, get a friend to phone in and add in like a little um, phone call or something. That's really cool. Some people talk very, very, very fast. Some people talk quite slowly, but n it doesn't matter um, what pace my guests speak at because I can always do that in the post edit as well. There's sometimes like a little buzzing sound or a little hum and it's something that you can hardly hear but it's so easy to get rid of with the noise reduction. I just, I do love that I can just play around with it to be honest and just discover new things and be in control of how it sounds. So with Audition, I love the fact that I've really got into my rhythm with it. I think when you become really attached to an editing software or whatever software, it's quite a personal experience because you know your tricks, you know what you're doing, and I think that's what kind of empowers me to keep creating is that I can do it all myself and that just makes it easier for me. 